Hey, this is Jared with the Daily App Show. Today we're going to take a look at PricePad, which is an application that helps you find good prices online for items that you purchase all the time. So let's go ahead and scan in this item here. It is Blue Diamond Almonds. It gives me two different prices that it had available using Google Shopping. And so I have these two different options in here. I can go ahead and add this item. It has went ahead and added it to my list. So let's tap on groceries and see that I have this item here in my grocery list, the Blue Diamond Almonds Jalapeno Smokehouse. So I can remove these items simply by sliding and deleting them. I can tap on it to view more information, perhaps change the list that it is listed in, choose whether or not it's a gift, add a price. I could tap store price here and type it in. So let's type in 475. I can choose whether it's on sale. I can edit store details here if I would like. Let's cancel and get out of that and just hit done. And then I can add notes as well. So let's hit save. So we've got this item added here. I can add a photo to the, of this item if I would like. So I could just, you know, perhaps simply take a photo of the can. And it goes ahead and adds the photo of that item in. Let's go ahead and use that photo. That sounds good to me. And hit save. All right, so we've got this item entered in. It is in our grocery shopping list. I can go back and now I've got my grocery shopping list. When I have added or purchased this item, I could tap on purchase, that little box, and it goes ahead and adds it to my purchase section. I can untap and it takes it right back to the to buy section. Let's go and add another item. It shows me my last item that I edited here. I could type in a barcode or name of a product or I could scan a barcode as well. So let's type one in instead. I have two options. I could type in the name of the item or the barcode. So let's go ahead and type in the barcode instead for this other item. 885909329861 and it gives me an okay when I've got enough digits. So I'll go ahead and hit next and it went ahead and pulled in. Yes indeed it was Snow Leopard, the one user that I got here that I scanned. It gives me a lot more options because obviously this is probably something more likely purchased online. So I've got all kinds of price options here. Um, so I could take a look at that. Now I can go in and categorize this. Let's go ahead and select from one of these categories. I can also create a new shopping list category. But software is in here, so let's choose software. So I can tap on software and view the two different items that I have in software, just like I did originally with my Blue Diamond Almonds. So let's add a photo. Let's go ahead and hold up my box here of Snow Leopard and take a photo and add that photo in. I'll use that one. And then, of course, I can add a price and all that stuff as well. Very cool. So I can also at any time search online for prices. Perhaps I haven't ordered it yet. I could search online for prices, of course, find the best price, and then go and look to purchase it with that company. I can reload the screen here simply by hitting refresh or hit back because I can view these as well. So perhaps I want to go and view uh, over at Best Buy the price on the listing on Best Buy. I can tap on that, and then I can hit the back button, of course, to go back. Or I can hit the back button up here to just go all the way back. So let's go back to our list here. We have our software list. Let's go back to our main list. I can view all of my items. So I've got, you know, my uh, office for Mac, and then I've got the two other items that I scanned in as well. Let's view the more section. So in the more section, it's kind of our settings as well. If we have this checked, it will automatically set our camera on when we launch the app so we can go in right into scanning. I can choose the price comparison service to Google or PricePad. I like Google, so I went ahead and chose Google, but PricePad also is good as well. I can see a video tutorial, leave feedback, and learn a little bit more about this application as well.
So not only is this application good for finding good prices on stuff, but it also helps you build a shopping list so that you know what it is that you need to, to get, whether or not it's for you, your family, or a gift for someone else. I think you're going to love PricePad. It's a nice looking app and it brings in tons of information from the web about the products that you're interested in. So thanks for checking out PricePad. Definitely go check it out in the App Store. Take care and we'll see you next time on the Daily App Show.